back on um, video. Just had a hot little drink of fruit juice, glucose boost. Um, it's possible I could come down through there or a track going up the top, which is what I want to do on the way back. <sighs> Sorry if it's bumpy, everyone, but it is a still camera, but it's doing very well. It's still recording. Even if it's bumpy, and look how bumpy it is, okay, so it's not all me. It's not all me, folks. Of course, I'm having to hold the battery charger under my arm. It doesn't, it's not very good on battery, this one. That I carry the charger with me. Do you know, I've got video and camera on my mobile phone but I've never used it. I haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> oh, I haven't. God, it's, it's warm now, I tell you that. Right, so we're coming into the back of Bishop Compton or Compton Bishop, one of them. And this will show a sign Crook Peak. Go up that way to Crook Peak. Okay. Or you can go the other side of the village and climb up the long back of Crook's Peak. Um, but I'm not doing that today. I'll be skirting the wood going up. Because I've done Crook's Peak the other week, so I don't like to overdo it. I expect a lot of the bikers will be on the top having a bit of a rest. And um, then it's all downhill for them really, but it is... It is a bit dodgy on that narrow bit, especially if your legs start to play up. Um, <clears throat> do you know what I mean? When, you, when you've done a lot like they're doing, it's like doing a marathon, isn't it, really? All the different muscles you've got to use in your knee joint. Oh, there's a pheasant in front of me. Coombe Cottage, this is called. Could be a holiday cottage, couldn't it? Now, there we are. People walking on the back of the Crook's Peak there. Some people would have been up there with their cameras. Um, videoing the bikers as they come along, you see. Families could be waiting for them when they get there with the, with the chair or two. Well, I don't know. Might not. I've been congratulating them all, encouraging them, and they passed me. I didn't meet another person, like, pedestrian like me walking around, like, not even someone with a first aid kit. But of course, they have their, um, what's that? Oh, it's a sheep. They take a lot of water with them. They've got, like, these big sacks. Like, this bag I've got... It's got a compartment where you can put one of those bags of water in. I mean, I haven't used it like that. I haven't got, I haven't bought, I've always think it's a bit unhygienic, you know. I'll feel it tomorrow. This will be classed as a, a sort of big walk in a way because I've been doing exploring. And when I explore, I go in and out, up and down, all around. Glad I never thought, oh, well, let's go in because a few drips of rain came down. Nah, I sheltered under a cow tree. Yeah, like I said, I didn't come out here to follow the bikers. I know that they do it because I've been over here before Crook's Peak when they finished. Um, I've been over. Oh, I'm glad I come out though. I did need a walk. It's I, although I do small walks over Sand Bay and the wood. Um, I do like being out here, really. I mean, I'd be on the Mendips a lot more, but not the Mendips, the Quantox. But I like the Mendips. I've grown to like them because they're they're so close to me. You know, easy access. Of course, now someone told me there is another way up, which I've never tried, and I've never found that path yet. Now that'll be something I'll do another time when exploring. 
it's always handy to know other routes. Now this church I'm going to, it's got associations with my cousin Barbara in Canada and her family, the Fletchers. Um, when their ancestors lived at Shipham and Rowborough, they had Wookie, for, Wookie family and Hells and others. And um, I found some Wookies in this graveyard. So I'll have a look around. I probably found others as well, but I can't remember it all. Of course, I never used to get knee ache, you see, in the past. This came on, I damaged my knee falling off a ladder and banged my knee sideways onto a chair and it swelled up. It was uh, dodgy for several months. Then it eased up, but then it started to play up, if you know what I mean. So, um, and there's it's, it's probably some permanent damage done there. Probably some permanent damage. Yeah, I'm not going up this one. It's hard to cut. It is a hard work going up. I had thought about doing it that way. I thought, no. I still got to do a little bit of climbing, and there's still risk of cow later in the walk. There's still risk of cow. Only in one field. Or it could be two fields. But it should be downhill. A little bit of hill to start with climbing up through the wood. Down the way out of the, from the church. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Over and out. Down the farm track. These lovely flowers that aren't they, aren't they gorgeous? Swayed in the gentle warm breeze. So I said you there's the church over there. Of course back over that way going up the top you go to Crook's Peak along the top there. I'll be going through the wood afterwards in the cool. Plan A. Oh. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, sit down actually for a few minutes. Still a long walking to do, but I don't mind. I'll tolerate it. I can have a break for a week, two weeks if I want. Stop here for a minute, shall Beautiful scene now, isn't it? Never a church. St Andrews. Bishop Compton or Compton Bishop, I know. I'll never get it right. Yeah, somebody had like a barbecue here. It was really strange when I was here last. I sat round the corner. Right, at the moment it's quiet. Compton Bishop, that's right. Yeah, we're, we're going here first, just in case anybody comes. Oh, look at that, a lovely bouquet for me as I arrive. It's my 70th year, you see. Look at that great big pulpit. Huge, isn't it? Appropriate in this day and age with larger people. Font. Lovely, lovely, well-kept beams. They keep it so it can be maintained nicely, I think. Look at that, though, for me. Thank you. It's my 70th year as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know it's for the Queen's Jubilee, but you know, it's my Jubilee. That's what I say to people. Zara got me a lovely card for my birthday. And my sister Margaret did as well. Pasina. It's where they keep the holy water, or they used to, in their look. I have videoed this with various cameras over the years. 
Some good, some not so good. Some due to my skills, not the camera. It's a lovely, lovely church, well maintained, and a beautiful group of flowers there. It really is. Look at those, look at that. Lily and roses, wildflowers. Really, really lovely. Look at those lovely ones as well. Lovely display. The church greets me in my 70th year. Views out of the hills out the side there. I'll come back and take a picture of the bouquet. Basically what I'm doing, I always do the video quite quickly when I come in because you can't video when people are around, you know. You can't really. I can remember there being some shields here. Yeah, very big pulpit. They keep it easily maintained, this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. I can't get over that bouquet to greet me. Like I say, I know it's to do with the Jubilee. But I'm 70, Church. Yeah, I'm 70. I've been with the Queens and me, have been together for 70 years. I don't need any notelets because basically I um, I don't know whether I've got this one or not. I'll take I'll take one again because um, they are handy to have. Just put it in my pocket for a minute. I'll find 20p and put it in the box in a second. They've left a pen so I can sign.
Like I said, I've videoed all this in the past. Good job I did the video when I first went in. Because about six people came in. Now they put another little bench there. Look, I wonder who that was to. It's a little lamb by the fence there. Who's this to? This bench is given in memory of Arthur George Andrews of this parish and his wife Nellie. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so it's funny how somebody comes in. That's happened so many times to me when I've been here. It's been all quiet. At least I have my picnic in peace. I did video. I've videoed it before. I'll go around and take some more pictures. I'll do the video. I was right up there earlier, walking along the top there where the bikers were going, right along the top there and, and, and round, looking down. It might have been lower. I might have been a bit lower, actually. I haven't seen any bikers, so I can't really tell exactly where I was, but it was definitely around there, definitely. I guess I'll do a video and then I'll go around again taking photos. And somewhere in here there's the Wookie, old Wookie graves. <clears throat> These are all new. It's funny if people, they're in a group and they don't even say hello, even inside a church. I didn't either, I didn't want to, you know, they were in a group. But um, weird, people are weird. So weird people are. I always like to do another video, this especially with a new camera. Especially with a new camera. I, I think they're around here somewhere, the graves. Somewhere around here. Sure they are. And there's the lovely hills, look. I'll be going along that sort of way and then up around the other side of that big mound when I leave here and it'd be in the shade I never seem to be able to find their grave they're here I've got them recorded on parts of Barbara's tree I can never, never seem to be able to find them straight away it's weird isn't it Wookies. That's their name, Wookie. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute.